All right. Hello everyone. My name is Vivek and in this particular video we are going to continue our our one of our last videos where we started writing uh, our REST API. Uh, so for that particular REST API what we did was this is what we wanted to implement, right? So APIs v1 books and we are going to to listen on on git and post. So git is going to get all the books from library database and post is going to post a big book into that particular database right so we in, in the last video we were able to actually implement git part of it in this particular video we are going to implement post right so let's just handle let's just register another another handler function r dot handle func and this is again going to listen on the same same resource path but it is going to call post book right and it is going to listen on on the http method post here we can use i think i think http dot method clip. let's try that dot method kit and method post right so yeah again we don't have post book so let's just go to, go ahead and try to implement post book and the signature of post book should be something like this right so yeah now if i make a post request to this particular endpoint we should be able to able to call post work right so let's just uh, print something out just to make sure things are working as expected so post work was called and if we try to build this let's just go ahead and try to make a post request to the same uh, endpoint right post and go ahead so post book was called so at least we have that thing working as expected now again here we would actually want to read the request right because we are getting we would be getting a, a book instance or an instance of book so read a request into an instance of book then open connection write the data and then close the connection right so this is what we actually want to do so to to decode the incoming request into a book instance let's first uh, go ahead and try to create a book instance so equals to book right and we have request and body of that request into request.body so we want to convert it into into an instance of book right so to do that we we use we can use a similar similar lo similar logic that we used uh, in in get books but this time we would be decoding the things so json dot new decoder decode or r dot body into books right and it it takes pointer i think all right so now that we have book right obviously we would be making post request to this particular endpoint with with a book details id name and isbn and now that we have that book in the book book variable what we can do is we can open connection so to to open the connection we have l dot open connection right 
and write the data so like we read the data from from the database using using db dot query i think we should have something uh, to to write the data as well right so here we actually are able to see see an example itself so let's just go ahead and try to try to use this example right so let's form the insert query so insert query is going to be db dot prepare db dot prepare it obviously returns an error as well and then the, the query that we want to prepare so insert into books values now uh, i'm going to talk about these question marks in in a second yeah so we we can actually pass so as you can see here db dot statement we can actually we can actually exec the the string itself right so what i'm trying to say is we could have we could have we could have provided the book details here itself but this particular method of doing the things prevents uh, or saves us from sql injection so for example if someone someone enters a valid sql command for for let's say let's say book id in that case this particular method or this particular way of doing things prevents us from 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 sql injection attacks so now that we have insert query what we can do is we can initiate a transaction so if error is not equals to nil in that case we want to log that we we some something went wrong while preparing the db query right and the error is this one okay now that we have the insert query we can go ahead and and, and start start the transaction so transaction colon error equals to db dot begin right and once we have the transaction we, we can call uh, exec on that so while defining the transaction right and error is this so now that we have the transaction what we can do is we can actually execute this query that we have formed in into the database so we can do that using using tx dot statement and then exec we want to exec this query but with provided values so the provided values are for first question mark we have book dot id right similarly book dot name and book dot isbn okay so this returns a statement and i okay so we are calling eventually calling exec and it returns result and error so i am not sure if we want to do something with the result as of now so i am not going to use result but we would be checking if we uh, got any error and if we got any error what we can do is we can just log that again uh, you can you can choose to, to do something else with the errors but i am just going to log that as, as of now so this error is while executing the insert command 
and the, the error is error dot error right okay and once we have the transaction done we will actually have to commit commit the transaction so what we can do is tx dot commit and if it returns an error we will have to handle that right and log dot fatal f while committing the transaction right uh yeah now i think i think this should work right let's just go ahead and try to close the connection now okay so we do we don't no need to handle handle anything here all right let's go ahead and try to build this okay as you can see in the database we have only one record that is the everything store and if i go to postman and try to try to make a request so id is going to be two this time let's say name is going to be programming kubernetes and isbn is going to be let's say isbn hyphen two right and if we now make a post request let's see what happens okay we got 200 okay let's just select everything again and here we go we we are able to see programming kubernetes in the database right so let's make some other requests so let's want to let's let's say we want to insert three and this is going to be i don't know database internals right and three and if we if we query the database once again we would be able to see see three three books and we can use our api as well that we have implemented so if we make get request here we go we are able to see we are able to see three three books now right if i make another request for example four and this is going to be linux fundamentals now if i make a get request we should be able to see that that uh, record as well yeah here we go so yeah in in this particular video we went ahead and tried to complete this rest api application now what uh, we can do is in the next video i am going to try to containerize this so that we can eventually deploy it on on top of kubernetes but before doing that uh, what i want to do is uh, let me let me push this into into my my github repo so that if you if you want to you can you can uh, look into it you can make changes if you want to right so let me see what should be what should be the structure of this so eventually we would actually be creating manifests docker files and everything so let me create another directory named name package let's say okay and let me move everything inside package not everything but main.co co.mod co.sum into package so this is how the structure looks looks like now so package and scripts we don't have to push library binary so let's initialize a git repo okay so here is the thing in, in the local we have initialized a, a git repo and we want to push this entire code into into our github repo 
right so again this is this would take another video to discuss about git and github and i would be making that video but in in this video we can assume that uh, we can understand that we are just going to push this this code into a repository right so let's let's just create a repository and this is going to be called as library and public description is going to be library that we are library API that we are going to be going to deploy on Kubernetes add a readme I don't want the readme as of now we would be adding these things later so just create the repository okay so now that we have created the repository we will have to somehow tell our local uh, version control system to connect to that repository right and we can do that using this particular command that we have okay so we'll have to add add a remote to this particular repository that we have created so this command can be used to do that so now it simply means that origin is, is a remote again we are going to look into these things uh, in in a lot detail in some of the some of next videos i would say so we created a remote okay and hold on and that remote is going to have the the repo where we want to push the code right so git status we want to add package and scripts right and let's just commit this first version of library api right and if i just push it seems we have pushed the code into into our repo and i would be mentioning this it into into the description as well so if you want to have a look into this make some changes uh, you can do that as well so yeah i think this this was pretty much it for this particular video uh, if you liked it you can you can consider subscribing and in in the next video we are actually going to going to containerize this particular application uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll see you in, in the next video. Thank you.